Cassie here and welcome to my bedroom. I'm so excited because today I'm going to show you my favorite bedtime stretching sequence. Now the night is always the best time to stretch because you are the most flexible because you've been mobile all day. You've been sitting in a chair, you got up, you walked, you drove a car, whatever, your muscles were moving. So you're more likely to be bendy at night, which makes it a lot easier and a little bit more fun when you're trying to stretch out your muscles. Now if you guys feel like stretching is boring and it takes too much time, a trick? Watch your favorite TV show or your favorite YouTube videos while you're stretching and time just flies. You don't even know what's going on. So guys, I want you to play this video, do the stretching sequence with me, and get ready to calm yourself and relax yourself for bed. Ready? Let's go. Okay, so hopefully you are on your bed and we're going to start out by stretching out your arms. So go ahead and bring one arm over across your body. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. You might want to light a candle or something. Make this your time. Your time to really spend time with yourself. Yeah. Good. And drop that shoulder a little bit. Ah, really feel the stretch right here through the upper arm. And go ahead and switch. Very nice. And press that shoulder down. Good stuff. Just relaxing in bed, feeling good. Go ahead and take this arm above. Bring it behind. Go ahead and sway side to side. Good stuff. And reach over and hold, bending. And bring that out. Switch arms. Stretching out that tricep. Sway side to side. Good stuff. And reach over to one side. Feeling the lats now. Mm -hmm. Very good. Hold, breathe. And bring it out. Okay, now go ahead and bring one leg forward and cross your knee over the other knee, and then we're just going to pretzel twist it, just like so. Allowing your back to truly release that low back. Very good. Inhale and exhale. Beautiful work. Nice. Let's get the other side, okay? Switching legs and twist. Hold. And if you really push hard enough, you feel your glutes as well, which I'm feeling right now. Looking over your shoulder. Nice. Okay, now let's get into some leg stuff. I want you to bring your legs forward, just like so, and reach for your toes. Of course, all of us are at different flexibility levels, so don't feel bad if you're right here, if you've got to bend your knees a little bit. What I want you to do is try to keep your legs straight, press the back of your knees into the bed, and then flatten your back. If that means you can only go right here, that's okay, but you're going to get better, okay? Hold it. Hold on to your ankles, hold on to your feet, your toes, point, inhale, exhale, okay, wiggle your butt around. Because the more you do that, you give some space underneath, you can actually bend forward a little bit more. This is hamstrings. Hello. And if you've been sitting a lot at work or at school, this is going to make you feel good. Okay? Now we're going to get deeper, guys. Inhale. Exhale. Bring it down. And you just want to hold right there. Okay? Hold as low as you can. Breathe. You'll get through this, I promise. In three, two, one, lift it up. Woo! Okay, let's make it a little bit more intense. I want you to flex your feet this time. Grab onto the backs of your, uh, the balls of your feet, if you can. Okay, if you can't, hold on right here. What I want you to do is try to lift the heels off the bed and flatten the back. Woo! Calf stretch mania! Now continue holding and drop the elbows onto the shins. Oh my gosh, right? It's crazy, but it's so good because it's night time and basically did mobile stretching all day long. Extend the arms, bend them. Extend the arms, bend them. Two more times. Extend and bend. Extend and bend. Bring it up. Woo! 
Very good. Okay, now, I want you to straddle for me as wide as you can, okay? And you're gonna flex the feet, point the toes. Flex the feet, point the toes. By the way, I am working on my toe point. I put my feet in this like ballet stretching thing um, almost every night. And it hurts so much, but I'm trying to really improve my toe point just because I think it's pretty and I wanna do it. Okay, now point and hold. I want you to reach forward. Once again, trying to keep that back flat. Okay, inhale. Exhale, let's come a little lower. Good. Inhale. Exhale, come a little lower. Good. I'm holding onto the edge of my bed now to help me pull myself forward even more. Hold it there. Press the knees into the bed. Point the toes. Really feel your inner thigh stretch out. Okay, and here's a trick too. If you want to get lower, take your hand and pull your thigh like up a little bit. Pull the thigh up on each side, kind of like right outside your butt, and then that'll allow you to get even lower. Hold. Good. Inhale. Big exhale. And slowly lift yourself up. So good. Okay, keep it there. Keep it there. I want you to take this hand, place it underneath your thigh, okay? Now reach over and grab onto your toes if you can. If you cannot, stay right here, okay? The more you do this video, the better you're gonna get. Now, my shoulder is right here on my inner thigh, um, just a few inches above my knee. I'm gonna really dig it down there so that when I open, my lats and my obliques are getting the full stretch. Your eyes wanna reach the ceiling, hold. Good, and try to bring that elbow up. Three, two, one, release. Oh, this feels so good. Okay, other side, bring the hand underneath, flex the feet, little by little, you can grab the toes, grab onto the ball of the feet, the foot, and look up. Hold, really getting an amazing, Amazing hamstring stretch. Inhale. Exhale, put yourself a little lower. And bring it up. Woo! Okay, guys. Now, let's go ahead and get our hip flexors, okay? So I want you to... Ooh, I just heard myself crap. Crazy. Okay, so I want you to bring your opposite ankle over your opposite knee. You see that? And then I want you to align the heel with the knee on the bottom. All right. This is really going to open up those hip flexors. Press this knee down. Oh my gosh. Okay, and the more these two are aligned, the harder it's going to be. So don't just sit regular Indian style. Really bring this bottom foot out so that it is aligning with your knee. Now, easy way to push this knee down is to just put your head on it and just rest like that. And push it down, push it down. Good, hold. And you can close your eyes and don't let your muscles resist because a lot of times we don't allow ourselves to be flexible. We hold back. You don't want to do that. And lift up. Very good. Switch sides. Right here. Opposite ankle over opposite knee. Pulling this leg out, making sure that they are parallel or as close to parallel as possible. And as you can see, this side for me is not as flexible as my other side, and I already know that because my left hamstring is a little bit injured, and our bodies aren't the same, so it's okay. All right, now I'm just gonna put some pressure on it, push it down. And light little uh, pushes are totally okay, just a little bit at a time. And if you're ready for it, you can even bend forward like this. Hold for three, two, one. So, so good. Okay, finally we're gonna stretch out those legs of yours. And what I want you to do is to lay down, just like so, on your bed, which is what you would normally do. And I want you to bring your right leg into your chest. Okay, grabbing behind that leg, I want you to lift up. Try to keep this leg straight, okay? Feel that hamstring stretch. 
point your toes, inhale, on the exhale, pull that leg in, just a little bit at a time. So you're just laying in bed, you're having fun. And inhale, exhale, pull it in, nice. And look, it may hurt, and you may be shaking, but it feels so good to be stretched out. Inhale, exhale, pull it in. Yep, keeping those hips square. In three, two, one. Nice, okay, other side, and grab behind the ankle near calf. Lift up, pointing the toes. Keeping everything nice and straight to the ceiling. Inhale, exhale, pull it in. Woo! Already feeling it. And because my hamstring is a little bit injured, I like to do this to loosen up the, uh, the muscles, to loosen up the tendons inside, the ligaments. Inhale, exhale, bring it in. Good. And you just want to be patient with your body. Stretching is one of those things that you cannot rush. In fact, if you rush, you will get injured. So take your time, listen to your body. Bring it in closer. A little bit more. In. Breathe. Inhale through your nose. Exhale. Hold for three, two, one. So good. Finally, we're gonna end with our happy baby. So bring your legs up like so. With your middle finger, put it around your big toe, just like that. And pretty much, you're gonna go like this. And you're gonna rock side to side. Just like that, side to side. And if you are feeling pretty flexible right now, extend the legs. And rock side to side. Good stuff. Okay. Bring the legs together. Bring your knees in to your chest. Give yourself a huge hug. And then roll over into fetal position. Because now it's time to go to sleep. Bye.